Hi everyone, this is um, Ken again, Ken L 606 YouTube channel. Come and have a look at my other videos if you would like to. Or subscribe, click the thumbs up button if you like what you see. Um, always makes a difference. Um, what I'm showing you here is the second pear and apple cider that I done yesterday, Wednesday, because I did one on late Tuesday night. This is the second. Um, and this is. Um, a pear and apple cider um, as I just said as you can see quick scan here you go healthy airlock this whole room is just bubbling I've got that many I've got one two three four five six seven seven demi jars in this room and they're all bubbling at different times and all you can hear is bubbling I go downstairs and I've got the Cooper's Australian pale ale by the by the radiator and that's bubbling like crazy and there's just got bubbles everywhere I'll be having bubble nightmare soon I think but I thought I'd get a lot of brewing done in ready for Christmas so but anyway I'm 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 just going on now I'll just get on with the matter in hand right this is my second pear and apple cider I did this yesterday while the Cooper's kit that I brewed yesterday was cooling down um, I like I said I did a ch I've done a cherry one which you'll find the video on the channel here as well yesterday and I did a pe uh, pear and apple the night before which you'll find the video on and this is my second pear and apple of the week and this was a mixture this had one litre of Sainsbury's pear and apple juice which was left over from the pear and apple juice from the other day this had a litre of granini that's granini pear juice. You find it on the on one of the top shelves in the supermarkets. Um, it's got reduced from about three quid down to two quid, um, and it's just I think it's just thirty five or forty percent pear juice, um, and it tastes sweet and it just tastes like you're munching on a pear. So um, that's good. And I also added um, two liters of sixty five p cheap 100% apple juice so I've got quite a good mixture in here um, as you can see um, I also added um, a cup of tea a three tea bag brew tea for the tannin um, the citric acid teaspoon pe pectolase yeast nutrient uh, teaspoon and I was in Wilkinson's yesterday and I picked up um, uh, Jarvin or Gervin or Garvin ale yeast sachet while I was there and I thought I'd try that to see what it would come out like so um, there was no added sugar I thought I'd take a hydro reading and see what I'd come out at and it came out at uh, 1040 or 1.040 which I looked on my sheet and that came out at 4.7 again which is my second low alcohol uh, cider of the week so I've made a eight I've made a 9% cider and I've made two 4.7 ciders this week so I thought don't bung no extra in let's just keep it as it is and it was a bit slower this one to start. I did it late yesterday afternoon tea time ish, and I had no bubbling till about 11 o'clock last night. And it was quite slow, it was like one every five minutes. And I just left it. And today it's we're starting to get we're starting to get bubbles. Not like we would have when we would, would have sugar in there. We would get a lot of froth. So this is the kind of um, bubbling I get when I use honey in the sizers. You don't get no um, blowouts on honey. It's just like, just bubbles. Fizzes, I should say. It's a bit bizarre. But um, we definitely have airlock action. So I'm quite happy about that. But this is my second pear and apple cider. Um, it will come out if it ferments down. Get your teeth in, Ken. 4.7. Um, 
that coupled with the other two ciders and the ale that's my brewing for this week this saturday i've got to rack and bottle and back sweeten two sizers um these are going to be still sizers i've got to put my hopped wine white wine into secondary and hop it i've got to uh put my um, fennel tea bag wine into secondary so it's just a doing weekend bit of bottling bit of secondary work um, just boring stuff really and then next weekend will be probably bottling three lots of cider and um, hop two lots of wine and uh, there you go but uh, that's what's going on at the minute so I shall say goodbye and thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye for now and 17. Bye now.